I'm not some guy, some random guy that just walked up and stuck her with a needle. But he is accused of being the so-called syringe rapist. Wait until you hear what this prime suspect says from behind bars about the charges against him. A DNA match broke this case wide open. Sex crimes detectives say they have the so-called syringe rapist. Now, just weeks before his trial, he's talking exclusively with News Channel 5's Nick Barris. Joe Shelton is here at the Rutherford County Jail, and I sat down with him behind bars for an exclusive interview where he says he is not the sexual predator police make him out to be. I've stolen things. I've been a thief, and I've, I've been on drugs, but I am not by any means a rapist. Three years ago, a woman told Murfreesboro police she met a man at Gentleman Gyms on Greenland Drive. The two, she said, stepped outside for a smoke when she says he came at her with a syringe. And he just kind of pulled my arm out and just stabbed me. I pulled my arm away and then I just collapsed. The woman says she came to later on the grass near the parking lot, fearing she had been sexually assaulted. Police did a rape kit and they did recover DNA, but they did not make an arrest until this past May with a match on Shelton, who had been arrested in an unrelated case. And they're saying that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rapist, a syringe rapist and this and that. And I'm, what's going on? Shelton, who is married, insists he knew this woman, that they had an affair and it ended badly. So she made up the rape charge. You concede you were unfaithful to your wife. You were with this yes, other woman. Yes, I did. It was it was idiotic. It was stupid. I just thought I was <laughs> going to get laid. But you did not rape. No, her. absolutely not. So far, police say there's no indication the woman knew Shelton, and doctors did find a needle puncture on her arm. I looked at my arm and I saw a puncture wound, and it, very small. It was bruising around it. Blood work showed she had a drug in her system. Did Shelton inject it? I'm not some guy, some random guy that just walked up and stuck her with a needle. If convicted, Shelton faces up to 15 years behind bars. He goes to trial early next year. In Rutherford County, Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. Shelton says he is innocent of the rape charge. Murfreesboro sex crimes detectives are still working this case and have been in contact with police in other cities investigating similar crimes.